Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of SA Boxing Talk. You're here with uh, Kaylee Swartz, who had a stand-up over the weekend, uh, winning on decision. Uh, Kaylee, welcome to SA Boxing Talk again. Uh, how are you feeling after that performance? Yeah, great. Um, so pumped to see that it actually happened. Uh, watching the video clips, it's just like the LCA. Seeing the performance that I that I. Uh, that I did is, yeah. yeah, you got a, you also got a 2K bonus as well as a fight of the night yeah. from the promoter. I mean, yeah. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a war. It was it was a, a, a really entertaining uh, performance to watch. Um, the crowd loved it. Uh, the promoter loved it. Hence the bonus came out. And... Um, yeah, it was just it was just fun being in there and, and doing my thing. I wanted to ask about what what's the feeling like after all the training, all the time you put into the sport, and you know finally been able to get in there and put the show on for the fans. It's 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 very rewarding. You know, you you go into these these bath camps. Um, sometimes you can have a really good camp. Sometimes you, you don't have a good camp. And um, but but at the end of the day, like it, it's a job that you have to get done. On the and all that preparation and hard work, um, going through the, the emotions and the tough times and the good times, um, and seeing it all come together on the it's, yeah, it's 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 very special and it's and it just it's very satisfying to know that. Um, that that's what you can do under the, under the pressure and being on, on a, a big stage like that. And, um, you know, I, I look back at my performance and I, I, you know, I still think I can do more. Um, uh, yeah, just do more better. Going forward, it's, it's, it's trying to change the camps a little bit more, seeing where um, we can improve on, on smaller things. And you just 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 get better every every fight uh, in every camp. That's, that's just my 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 this. Well, I mean, you got your opportunity to go out there and and show, and show and you did. I mean, are you? The natural question is, when are you expecting it to get back in the ring again? Soon, hopefully August. In August. Yeah. Okay. Have you have you got any calls yet? Is there is there something that you know perhaps that's, that's on the line? Nothing, nothing confirmed at all. Um, it's just, it's just kept with um, coach to the end, uh, and the team. Um, also, it's really running the USA boxing here. Um, yeah, we would like to get in at a minimum another two fights for, for 2023. Um, and we'll, just, we'll see how it goes, see, see what the body is. Um, See what the time is right for me, and uh, take it from there. And obviously, um, for you personally as well, you also know you have a full time job as well. So, I mean, to balance the two things, you have to do that. But you, you're back at work again, I, I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah, yeah, back, back at work, back in the ground, <laughs> eight to five. So, I mean, how's how, how's the balance though? Because I mean, like, uh, do, do do people at the office like ask you about your fights? Like, I mean, have you had to entertain some of those questions? So, Hayden, I have the most incredible boss at work and team at work. They just, I mean, half half my work colleagues were at the fights on Saturday night, and um, you know, after the fight, they were so shocked. I don't think they realized, you know. Um, the talent and, and um, you know the capabilities of me being being a professional boxer now, um, and you know first thing Sunday morning my boss messaged messaged me you know um, was the part he was actually meant to come but he he had other plans unfortunately, and they're so understanding they know I mean being a professional boxer you know how the training is you have to train minimum twice a day. Um, every week and, and they know when i need to get step up step i'm, I'm very flexible the work so i work from home i'm going to office um so they they know when i when i need to go to training as long as i get the work done which is which is what, what i'll be doing um yes yeah, so they're so supportive so, I mean, and it's just it just makes my journey easier 
how was fight week then? I mean, like going into the week, knowing that you had to fight on the weekend, was 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 it difficult to work in those conditions, or did you get off time? Like, what was the situation then? So I still worked. Um, Lucky Friday was a public holiday, so that kind of was in my favour. And um, so Thursday, I just, you know, I'm still still working and checking emails, but I wouldn't attend to. Um, any high level or intricate um, task so I'll just plan it you know make sure I get it done um, either early in the week week before or anything that was really urgent um, yeah just, just smash it out and um, wait for this week to, to do of course, uh, in your in your gym, yourself and Dylan both represented and both got wins. It's important in the sport of boxing to win. It's a highly competitive sport. I mean, uh, do you? How did you feel when you got your yeah. hand raised? Oh, it was just it was, it was amazing. Um, it was just very. I think I think if the fight had gone out either way, you know, I just I put my heart in there, did everything I could. Um, you know, showed, showed a lot of skill and endurance and heart. Um, so for me, like, even if I had lost that fight, I just I knew I'd, I'd put everything in there um, just to, to, yeah, I don't know. I, I still, I saw it's still the emotion, everything was still running through me. I can't believe I just, I just did that. And I'm just so excited to see where this journey goes as well. And let's talk about Cape Town boxing. Obviously, this is a good a good thing for Cape Town boxing. We saw a few of the prospects uh, on this bill, and uh, a lot of people making their names. And certainly, you made your name on this bill. Uh, do you see a lot of the fighters yeah, getting more opportunities going forward? Well, I certainly hope so. Um, you know, Dylan, Dil uh, um, have been working hard. Um, you know, we kind of started this journey together and Matt's, Matt's molded us into who we are today as, as professional boxers. And um, it's we exciting, you know, we, we're exciting fighters. People want to watch us and they, they, they love the journey where we're going. And um, I truly hope that it's, it will be the next big thing in, in Western Cape. Let's take a second, right? That you mentioned your, your trainer, Matt, Matt Leeshing. Uh, he's obviously yeah. a young trainer in the game, but he's been in, he's been training boxing for a very long time. How has it been under him? Because I mean, he's developing a very young stable, and it looks like an exciting one. Yeah, yeah. Matt's incredible. I mean, he's he's been so understanding. Um, you know, as a female boxer, because you know, I think it was also very new for him in the beginning. Um, and a big risk for him to have taken in the beginning to, to have a female boxer. And he's he's been so great at adjusting. Um, and our communication is one point, you know, we just, you know, it, that's, the, that's the key thing to our success is, is communication and, um, and understanding our needs, understanding Matt's needs, and, and, and making sure that we have one goal and the same goal, and we'll run down the same goal. And um, yeah, and, and you know, not only Matt, um, Don, Don Madge has been really big help in this in this camp for me as well. Um, and his experience and his knowledge is just, it's just set the precedence, and, and I can't wait to be also working for going forward. I mean, it's just, it's just so exciting to be working under such an amazing coaching team under Matt Fitt. You mentioned a common goal. I mean, what are, what are, what are the goals that, uh, what are the immediate goals, let's say, between the two of you, if you could share that with the public? Uh, what, what are those? Uh, I want to go for titles. It's, it's, it's a no-brainer. Um, and no, we take, we take each class as it comes, uh, grow me, get, get experience in the ring. And, um, yeah, they, they know it, I know it, and, and that, that's, that's how it goes from there, really. Yeah, but, uh, can I ask you uh, just to give a, you know, um, a message maybe to the, the boxing community from your side? Uh, is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah, I think I'm very excited to see where this journey goes, um, especially being as a female boxer in South Africa. Um, there, there hasn't 
it hasn't been anyone that, that's been that exciting coming up as a full boxer. Um, yeah, there's, there's I, I, you know, just I think to women out there. Let's get, let's get South African women more involved in the sport. Whether whether you, you want to be competitive or, or just get into the gym, get fit. Um, it's a great sport, you know, it, and it really does change lives. It, it's, it's changed my life completely. I mean, four years ago, there's no ways I would have even realized what, what I was doing right now. Um, it's, it's an incredible sport. You know, as youngsters, as a girl, you taught, you, you told to play hockey, netball, tennis. You know, the typical swimming, the typical school sports, but but they're not being taught to told that hey, boxing, boxing can be an option. We even mix martial arts, jujitsu. Um, you know, these are all skills that, that I really think young girls need to be getting more involved in. I like that. I like that. I think I think even at school level. Um, they should be introducing amateur boxing and you know, sort of yeah. integrating it into the system. And I think a lot of people agree with me on that one. And I, I'm sure you guys have probably spoken more about it before, or at least would would have loved that option being back in school, but it wasn't to be, and it, it still isn't yeah. a reality yet. But we might get there one day. Um, Kaylee, can I? Can I? Can I? Um, yeah. Sorry, sorry, you're, sorry, you're, you're saying there before I, go, I, I, I disturbed you while you're saying something. Can you just carry on with that sentence? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just saying, I was agreeing with you. I was saying, hundred percent. Hopefully, acknowledge. Yeah, that would be a great idea. That would be a great idea. I think uh, let's incorporate yeah. it as soon as possible. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Kaylee Swart, thank you very much for joining me here on SA Boxing Talk. Can I leave you in with any thank yous or shout outs for anybody? Oh, I've said so many thank yous to my team, my family, uh, my friends, and just everyone with the support. Man, I just uh, it's been so much love from everybody. Thank you guys. Couldn't have done it without you. All right, there we go. Thank Thanks, you very much. And thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to chat as well. Thank you very much. Um, I look forward to the next fight, and as you say, if it's in August, yeah, gotta watch and gotta watch another one of your fights. That's for sure. Thank you very much uh, for putting on a show and all the best for the future.